Okay, after the first thing you do is you empty out all the fuel, you put it back into the jug, jug of fuel here. Oops, let me. It's top fuel. It's $36.99 a gallon. That's pretty expensive. Okay. First, you take out the fuel. Second, you use an air compressor to blow out all the parts. And then, let's see, that would be the third thing you do is go ahead and use one of these wrenches. It's for the glow plug. Let's see if I can get that out like that. You take out the, the wire, the plug wire. Use this tool to get the little glow plug out. Should do it. And there's a little brass washer that always comes off. Okay, let me get a close up here. Yeah, I see a little brass washer still inside the head, so I have to get that out. <clears throat> And there she is. I don't know if you can see it dangling right there. A little brass washer for the plug. So I'll put that down. Alright, so you got the plug out. Now you gotta take the air filter off right here. Take that off. And now this is necessary after every run. Turn it back on, you turn on your controller, make sure everything's working, which it is, and now you got to spray WD-40 into the carb right here. But before you do that, you got to full throttle that, spray it in for about two seconds. And then one spray where the glow plug goes in. Now you take your starter one and you gotta start it, try to start it. What I usually do is just take a rag and you put it over the glow plug hole and you roll it over a couple of times like that so it'll circulate the WD-40 down the crank and you do it one more time and then you do it again because if you don't use a rag over top of that it stuff just squirts right out of the top so we're gonna go ahead fire it again and she's good to go now your engine is set and that's the best way to store it if it's going to sit because you do not want to let it sit with that fuel in it because it will gum up and that is it for that part I'm going to go ahead and put the glow plug back in and I'll be back <laughs>